Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be comparing, um, you know, my account from January. I took this video in February 22nd, 2020, so pretty much a year ago. And I wanted to compare, like, what my account looked like in one year. So, this was taken one year ago, this video. I just had reached 900,000 total base year rating. I'm just scraping under 10,000 prestige, about to hit that five digit prestige. And then I also am just under 500 total heroes ratings. My profile picture is Blade, which I thought I got rid of a long time ago, but I guess it hasn't even, it's barely been a year. Um, even less than that, which is crazy to even think about. It's been like a year pretty much. And um, yeah, it's really sad that Blade, I had Blade, Medusa, Aegon, and Captain America Infinity War. All five stars, no six stars. And it's just amazing to see like what my prestige like looked like back then. It's actually crazy. And um, yeah, the fact that I have no six stars in my profile just blows my mind. If we look at my profile now, a year later, we have um, instead of almost 500 total base heroes, we are almost at 700, a little bit under. So like 180 more characters joined our roster. Our total base hero rating went from 900,000 to 1.6 million. So we went up 700,000 rating, almost double in just one year. Crazy to think about, just absolutely crazy. We have no more five stars in the profile. Beautiful, only six stars. We got Doom, six star rank three, Aegon, six star rank three, Corvus, six star rank three, and Omega Red, six star rank three. Our prestige has gone from being just under 10K to 11 point almost 8K. So we pretty much had a bump of, um, you know, 1.8 thousand prestige in the um, past year. So almost 2,000 prestige, which is really good. Okay, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, one thing also that you, you might point out, I don't know if it really like matters that much, but I did change alliances. I think in the other picture, I forgot what alliance I was in. I think it was like RT16 or something like that. But now we're in space. Um, so yeah, in one year, we've gotten almost 200 more characters, 700,000 more team uh, total base here rating, and almost 1,800 more prestige. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. So this is a pretty interesting picture to look at. When I first saw this, I didn't think it was like, real. So only one year ago, my amount of characters I had at the rank five, five star, or rank two, six star power level or higher. Um, actually, no, 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 this is just five stars. So just the amount of five stars I had at rank five was 10. 10 five stars are ranked five. That number's gone up a lot in the last year, which I didn't realize how much. So we had Blade, Top Prestige, Medusa, Aegon, who I used for Labyrinth, Captain America Infinity War, who was hard carry, I remember. Sunspot, Simba Supreme, Archangel Thing, who I never used. Uh, Venom, Hyperion, and Quake. So the, or not even Quake, just Hyperion. These were my rank from my rank fives, so only had 10 of them. I had two in the skill class, uh, three in the cosmic, two in science, two in mutant, and one in mystic. So we had nothing in tech. Interesting. Our highest tech character, sadly, was a fucking rank four Ultron, so that's kind of pathetic. Um, I guess in the five stars, at least. But yeah, so looking at this now, Seeing how far we've progressed when it comes to our five star roster, it makes me very happy. In one year, uh, we've gone from 10 rank fives to a lot more. Um, so now I'm gonna show you my account nowadays. So nowadays, if we look at the main account now, we've gone from 10 rank fives to 30, okay? So if we look back at the picture, we have, let me just check one second. So, we, hold on, it's not loading. The fuck okay so we've introduced silver surfer to the team namor we didn't have mysterio we didn't have dr doom we didn't have sunspot and blade with the ogs these two are still here stealth suit spider-man we didn't have symbio and captain america we did have void is new aegon is not wasp is new medusa and archangel are still ogs nick fury quake magneto falcon are all new colossus is new Venom and Thing are still old. Domino is new. Modok is new. Modok's really just for defense. Ghost is new. Old Man Logan is new. Corvus is new. She-Hulk is new. And then Hyperion finally is one of the OGs. 
So we've gone from 10 rank 5s to 30 of them. In case we have times 3, we also have a lot more rank 4s and a lot more 5 stars just in general nowadays. Like a lot more. I think in that video I said I have 80. I think I said I have 85 stars and now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We have 22 times 6, which is what, like... 192 or something. I could be very wrong on that math. Um, but, um, yeah. Point is, we have more than double our five stars. So it's just interesting looking back to see, like, how in one year we've just improved so much on our five star roster. So, yeah. Now let's look at the six stars. So now we're looking at the six star roster, and this is pretty tragic to see. Um, I only had 15 six stars at this point, and only two were ranked uh, two, I guess. Um, none six, none of my six stars at this point broke into my um, top four profile, which is pretty sad to see no six stars. But we only had 15, okay? Only had 15. And out of those 15, uh, you know, three, you know, Corvus goes obviously really good. And the Duck, he's decent, but not really used since our own suicides. Havoc, once again, just didn't really use him. Aegon's really good, but, you know, kind of unusable because he wasn't duped at the time. Gamora, I pulled her from a Cavalier Crystal when they first added Cavalier Crystals. I bought a few and I got a six-star Gamora. Fun fact. Electro, Iron Man, Electro, Cable, Hood, you know, Colossus, I mean, or I guess Juggernaut, I mean. Uh, Daredevil and Massacre, all complete dog shit. Void, he's not terrible, but, you know, he wasn't duped, so he's still kind of shit. And he still isn't duped to this day. Um, but yeah, this six-star roster is pretty dog shit. We only have, like two or three really usable six stars at this point and only two of them are even rank two and we have zero rank threes i mean kind of a given at this point in the game but yeah um looking at it now it's pretty sad but now we can look at what it looks like a year later a full 12 months have gone by after a full year has gone by our six star roster is a lot better and a lot more usable. You can might tell the PI is a little bit lower than usual. I have suicides off right now, that's why, in case you're wondering. But back then we only had 15 six stars. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times six is 48. And then you take plus five, we have 53 right now. At 53 six stars, so we've almost, you know, seven off being times four. We've done like times 3.5 in total, all our characters. So our six star acquisition this year has been a lot more than it was in the last few years, obviously. Um, now at the rank two power level, um, or higher, I guess, we have 16 six stars that are above rank, or rank two or higher. We have, you know, at the actual rank twos, we have Red Hulk, you know, if I get him awakened, maybe I'll rank three him, I don't know. Colossus, if I awaken him, I'll rank three him. Miles Morales, I took him up uh, recently just because, you know, um, he's getting buff soon and I duped him and I was like, listen, I want to rank through Miles because I think he's a cool character. So I'm really hoping they give him a buff like they did Magneto and then make him like sick because I really want to rank through him. Um, I already got that catalyst. I mean, I just got to throw it in. I, I, could, I could get these tier 5 basic to draw for pretty much whenever I want. I just need that tier 5 class catalyst, which I already have. So... Really hoping the Miles Morales buff comes out soon and it's good. Archangel, if I he's at rank two, I'm just I took him to rank two just because like I'm gonna dupe him eventually and I might as well just want to have him ready. Um, I already have him at five star maxed out, but having double Archangel would be so OP. I would definitely rank three him the second I awaken this man. Call of City in rank two, I took him up more for fun. Maybe if I rank three him in the future, I'd awaken him. I mean, maybe if I awaken him in the future, I'd rank three him. But I don't know, man. He's just. I kind of drank him for fun because I had some catalyst expiring, but he doesn't really do much. Um, Warlock, you know, obviously just super good character. Just love Warlock. I really want to dupe him to rank three him. Same thing with Guilds in twenty ninety nine. I both I've both are rank two, but they're both unduped. Okay, so whoever I dupe first is gonna get that rank three probably. Uh, next rank two we got Sorcerer Supreme. I would really want to rank three her. She's really fun if you don't run suicides. If you do, she's really bad. If you don't run suicides, for me, she's better than Clairvoyant. Like, not even, like, close. Like, I know people love Clairvoyant. They think she's, like, the best thing that ever happened since sliced bread. But, like, 
Anything she can do, my Doom can do better. But anything Sorcerer Supreme can do, my Doom cannot do better for certain things. I know it's hard to explain, but like, y you get the point. She she does shit that Doom can do. But then you got Morningstar rank two. Um, she's super short in this. I don't know why she's so much shorter than the other characters. Uh, um, it is weird. I took her to rank two when I duped her. Um, maybe a rank three in the future. I use her for incursions if I'm bored. But even then, Corvus is still kind of better than her. But yeah, that's Morningstar, and then I think she's the final rank two. So yeah, we have how many? We got five. We got nine rank two six stars, and we have seven rank three. Okay, so next time we rank three, a one of these rank twos will be eight and eight. So almost fifty percent of our rank twos have gotten ranked up to rank three. I got hit monkey recently from a cav, and within the same day I took him to rank three. Um. I don't know how worth it it was. He's fun, but I don't really know what I'm gonna use him for. But the reason why I wasn't too worried about wasting the tier five CC is because I'm about to form another one, and the skill class is pretty dead anyway. So might as well. I think he's like what the third best skill character. And he's really good for prestige. So if I awaken him, it could be nice. Ghost, my gal, two OP. Took her to rank three. No regrets. She pretty much carries me through a lot of shit. Clairvoyant, I have her at rank 3, so you know you can put your pitchforks down. Because I said she's worse than this, her, her Supreme. I already ranked 3 to her, so relax. I got her a while ago. Um, but I must confess, I use her for pretty much nothing. Um, I don't know, man. People, uh, Clairvoyant, she, she, I used her for some shit in 7.1, but overall she just doesn't get used that much. And now that I probably, I'm not going to be running suicides as often, she's really not going to get used that much. And Mega Red took him to rank 3. Um, he's a fucking beast, but once again, I'm not running suicide right now, so he is useless at the moment, unless there's a biohazard path. Same thing with Corvus. Corvus is really fucking shit without suicides. I have my rank 3, and even at rank 3, dude, as a 6 star, AQ map 7 just feels long. Um, I, I, I just don't want to do AQ with him anymore. He just is not fun when he's not suicide. Like, he just takes so much longer. You run into glaive charges. You should do the stupid timeout method, which is just not fun. So for me, I'm putting Corvus, Ghost, and Omega Red, and Clairvoyant all on the bench for right now. Because I'm not running suicides anymore, so this row of four right here, um, they're just not getting touched because I took out suicides, which is kind of sad. That four of my seven rank threes, like, rely on suicide so hard, which Hitmonkey kind of does, but not as much as Corvus, because he doesn't have charges. Aegon, he was my first rank three. Uh, he pretty much big dick through Abyss. I have no regrets ranking him up. I know people say Aegon's not good for content, but, I mean, he, he he's good for some shit in Act 7, dude. Some of the skill paths he pretty much just destroyed. Um, and then finally, Doctor Doom. Um, I He's pretty a prestige rank up because I run suicides for so much. But now that I'm not running suicides really anymore, or at least for now, um, I actually get to have fun with Doom for once, which I never used to have. So he's going to start schlong-donging in Act 7.3. Or 7.2 when I bring them in because we finally don't have suicides. So yeah, that is my six-star roster. It's almost times by four. One year ago, we only had two characters that are ranked two or higher power level. Now we have 16, so it's been times eight. So yeah, very nice. Six-star roster, very fat indeed. Now we're just looking at my uh, storage, or what's it called? My inventory. I don't think that's the word for it. I'm losing brain cells. Sorry, I forget what it's called, but my stash, that's what it's called. And I'm just looking at the Awakening Gems really quickly. So if I look at it really quickly, uh, I'm not going to worry about like three or four star. We only have uh, a Mutant Awakening Gem for five star. And I think that says three skill. It's really blurry. It's either two or three. Um, I mean, I've still had trouble like even a year later getting those down. I just keep getting skill ones, even though skill class is so dead. But yeah, that's like all I had. Just a Mutant and a, and a few skills for five stars that's like it so yeah now let's look what we have now because i don't think it's that much more now okay if we look at what we have now um okay so we definitely have a lot more five star we have no six star awakening gems which is kind of tragic i've used all of them but now we've gotten down to one skill gem i've been using them on randomly it's been hard but i've just been throwing them into random characters i threw them into mole and gwenpool just for fun because why not five star resources are such a joke we don't have that mutant anymore. I don't know who I gave it to, but good for them. We have a Mystic now, which we could use on any of these guys, but maybe Mojo if I'm bored one day. Uh, tech, um, 
Uh, really, I don't have anyone to use it on. Um, Cosmic. I could just awaken my rank of Corvus just for the flex, but I don't really care to. And then, you know, if we need to awaken someone who we don't already have a class for, we have two generics. Um, but yeah, five-star awakening shit, kind of a joke. Um, I just don't really need him anymore. <laughs> like, I just kind of like, throw in characters for fun. Um, in that span of the last year, um, I did get a few six-star awakening gems. I had one for tech that I gave to Ghost, but I think I already did that in that clip. I got a mutant one that I gave to a Mega Red. I got a cosmic one who I gave to Corvus. I got a generic from the Abyss and I gave it to Doom. So yeah, I've gotten how many? One, two, three. I've gotten four Awakening Gems in total so far. So yeah, but I've never, they're, all the six ones have already been used. So this is a very sad picture to look at. Um, I literally have zero science but just some fragments, and then I have one skill from Completion of Abyss, which I'm going to give to Aegon, you know, as my first rank 3. I don't even, it doesn't even show the other classes, because I haven't formed anything for the other classes, which is just, wow, dude, like, I literally have one skill and a bit of fragments, and then a few fragments for science. That's all I've gotten, okay, and I've run through zero characters up at this point, so that's pretty sad. Now we look at it, a year later, a year later, we have pretty much gotten one full tier five mutant or uh, science. I mean, because we just, like have pretty much the same amount of fragments as we did a year ago, just I guess plus forty five thousand more. Uh, one science, we have thirty thousand tech, but keep in mind um, we've ranked three ghost. So really, we had one tier five tech and almost a second one. We have one mutant catalyst, but once again, keep in mind, we rank three to Omega Red. So we basically have two in the third of mutants. So overall in my life, I've had one uh, tech tier five CC and 30,000 fragments. Um, pretty much the science is the same. I haven't used any. I've had two mutant tier five CC and 16,000 shards. We are about to form a third tier 5 skill, or about to form one really, but I have two rank 3 skills, Hitmonkey and Aegon. So in the span of the year, I've gotten two more tier 5 skills, basically. Mystic, we are about two thirds to form another one, but really we pulled two and two thirds, because I have two tier, uh, two or three, three um, Mystics once again, in Doom and Clairvoyant. And then in Cosmic, we're about to form um, one, which will basically make it our second because, as you know, we have a rank 3 Corvus. So, if we look back, um, we look back and, like, think about it. In one year, we've pulled basically two Cosmics, um, two Mutants, two more skills, two Mystics. Uh, I got misclicked. Two Mystics, one and a half Techs, and one and a half Sciences. So we've pulled like, I, I don't know, I'm not going to do the math in my head because I'm kind of slow right now, but we've pulled like close to maybe 10? Uh, yeah, we because we have 7 rank 3s, 2 right here, and then we have a lot of them that are close. We've formed like 11, 12, we're close to like in total 11, 12 tier 5 CZs from like the 1 we had last year. So yeah, we've, crazy, the production, the amount we've gotten of these have gone up like exponentially, so that's very cool to look at. And then finally, we bought, we got the last section of the account tour, the content. See, this was a year ago. We've done 68%. Or chapter 4 hasn't even come out yet, but we've done chapter 1 and chapter 300%, and we haven't done chapter 2. Chapter 2 is too hard for me at the time. Nowadays, I'm not even going to bother showing it uh, like what it is now, because you already know I've done all the story content. All the all of Act 6 is 100%, and Act 7.1 is 100%. So we've finished Act 6.2. We fully did Act 6.4, and we did 7.1 in the last year. So that's pretty nice. Now we go to, if we want to go over. Now, um, to the Abyss. So a year ago, we only had one path of Abyss completed. After that recording, um, a year ago, it took me like another three, four, maybe five months to finish all the paths in Abyss. So in the last year, I've done Abyss 100%. 
um, which is very cool to think about. It took a lot of revives and shit. I did not have ideal characters. I only had two of the horsemen. I never had a Nick Fury, and I never had a Human Torch while going to Abyss. Now I have Nick Fury, but I still don't have Human Torch, which is kind of sad. As you guys know, that's like my number one character I want right now. Especially since I'm not running Suicides anymore, I really want Human Torch. So in the last two, we've 100 Abyss, which is kind of nice. And then the final piece of content, which it will go to in a second, you'll see, is the variants. Um, it is weird when I was watching this recording, because the, the variants used to be in the same section as the monthly event quest. Um, which I think it's funny because the side event I can see love is a battle realm which is what we had this month because I, I mean it's a year ago I didn't realize they had the exact same event um, last year but I guess they did but we only had four variants at the time I think now we have six or seven six or seven I don't, I don't even know I forgot I've lost track I think six but I could be wrong could be seven at this point and um, at this point we only had four out in the game but I 100%ed all of them I was surprised I didn't think I'd have variant 100%ed at that point but i guess actually i guess it makes sense because we had six star rank two ghosts at that time so yeah at that point we had all the variants done and nowadays we have all the variants done still so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video Could like comment and subscribe it's crazy to see what my account was like a year ago versus now we've gotten so much farther and so much of a better account in one year so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video Could like comment and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace